morning everyone thank you so much for clicking on to another DOY creation 7 video okay everyone in today's video we are getting ready to make a, a long sleeve sweater this sweater is a very simple to make and if you are a beginner crocheter I think you'll be able to follow along with this pattern uh, pretty easily um, what we're going to be needing is your four ply yarn I am going to be using the Burnett Pop. Um, this color is in birch bark and blue. And you also going to need a size uh, 6.00 crochet hook, which is a letter J crochet hook. You're going to need your tapestry needle and a pair of scissors. So that is all you're going to need. So once you have your supplies together, we're going to go ahead and get started with this tutorial uh, I'm not going to be pulling my camera down too often because I was recording earlier and I wasn't um, seeing that where I pause I was actually recording and where I was recording I was actually on pause so just bear with me but I think if you are uh, I think you should be able to follow along with this pattern you know really easily before I get started, I always like to give glory, honor, and praise to the Most High Yah. We're going to start this pattern with a slip knot. And the way that you make a slip knot is take your yarn and wrap it around two fingers. Go inside your two fingers and pull that string. And pull up. This one is for a size large. I will give the different measurements. Once this um, project is completed, if you would like to make it in a size medium or small or even an extra large, I will give that at the end of this video. Chain 143. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And to do a chain, you just simply grabbing the yarn, pulling it through, grabbing the yarn, pulling it through. So you're going to do that uh, chain of 143. I'll be right back once I have mine. Okay, so once you have your chain of 143, just do a quick brush through to make sure nothing is twisted. In the fourth chain from the hoop, one, two, three, four. In the fourth chain from the hoop, go ahead and put a double crochet into that space. And we're going to do a double crochet along the rest of the chain. So go ahead and put one double crochet into each stitch across. Okay. I'll be back once I have my double crochets all the way across. Okay. So once you have done all your double crochets all the way along your chain this is what we should be looking like right now this is considered row number one go ahead and chain three one two three and you're just going to put one double crochet on top of the bottom double crochets so go ahead and put a double crochet directly on top of the bottom crochet you are going to do this for a total of 10 rows. So this is row number one. We are working on row number two. Each time that you get to the end of your row, go ahead and chain up three. One, two, three. Turn your work around and repeat that for a total of 10 rows. So again, double crochet all the way down chain three turn your work around and put another double crochet do that for a total of 10 rows and i'll be right back once my 10 rows are completed okay i'm back uh, one thing i forgot to mention you are going to need some stitch markers so you can use some um safety pins or if you actually get stitch markers some yarn whatever you have available to use your stitch markers so I did my 10 rows of my double crochets all the way across. It's pretty long, but remember this is long sleeves. And you can count 51 and put a stitch marker there, 
or you can just put one double crochet into the next so we're going to chain three one two three turn my work around and i'm going to put that chain three is counted as my first double crochet so i'm going to put double crochets into the next 50 so i should have a total of 51 double crochets across here so i've already counted 51 and i put my stitch mark right here so i know where to stop so go ahead and do 51 double crochets across right here and stop right there and i'll be right back i'm coming up to my stitch mark so so I'm going to go ahead and put a double crochet right into my stitch mark. All right. So if you uh, got your stitch mark right here, you can leave it in there or take it out. So here's my second stitch mark over here. So I'll know where I need to join at. Go ahead and chain 40. I want you to chain 40. So one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty seven twenty eight twenty nine thirty thirty one thirty two thirty three thirty four 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, and 40. So once I have my 40 chain, go into your stitch mark on the other side and put a double crochet directly into that stitch mark. Okay? So that is how we look. Down here in our double crochets, that is 40 double crochets to make sure that our sweater is even. So go ahead and do the rest of your double crochets along this side right here. And I'll be right back. Okay, so I did my double crochets all the way along this side. So this is how we looking so far. This is how we looking. So this right here is our front and this one is our back. So we did 10 rows for our front. This right here is considered row number one. So what you're going to do is simply do what we did for the front. You're going to chain three, turn your work around and you're going to put a double crochet into each stitch across. Now, when you get to your chain 40, you want to put a double crochet into each of these stitches. And you should have 40 double crochets because we chain 40. And then just go ahead and finish doing your double crochets. You want to do that for 10 rows. Okay, so we did 10 rows in the front. Now we're getting ready to do 10 rows in the back. Make sure you put in a double crochet into each one of these stitches it should be a total of 40 and just keep going down down chain three turn your work around i'll be back once i have my 10 rows completed i'll be right back hey guys i am back i just wanted to stop in to show you what i meant when you do your double crochets all the way across make sure you're going into each stitch across just like this and then continue down doing your double crochet. So this will consider row number two because this is row number one. This is row number two. So I'm going to do eight more rows just like this so I can have 10 rows on that side along with 10 rows on this side right here. So go ahead and I just wanted to stop in to make sure you guys really understood what I was saying about making sure that you crocheted along this line right here or this um, chain right here. So you should have a total of 40 double crochets. 
And so all we're going to do is just continue what we already was doing, which is uh, I'm just going to chain three, one, two, three, turn my work around, and then repeat the process. So this would be row number three, and we need to do um, a total of 10 rows for this side. I'll be back once I have my 10 rows. Okay, hey guys, I am back. So I have completed 10 rows on the front along with 10 rows on the back. And this is how we should be looking right now. Now, what you can do 